ang lahat. Ako si Mark Mark. Welcome to Pinoy Crossover season finale for tonight. I'm feeling good today because finally the season is over and we get to do a recap with the OG and we also have Ingrid here. The new OG. Good. Awesome. <laughs> and let's introduce the new OGs that we have. All right, oh, hey. JR, welcome back. How's How's Force Life? How's work, Sports, bro. Yeah, oh, how's work? good, man. I, I now work for Sportsnet 590 Defense, the local Ooh. radio station here in Toronto. Woo! Um, I, I, yeah, I don't host here anymore, but I am producing here just, you know, behind the scenes stuff, helping out Mark and everything on social media. But yeah, I, I'm still be here. But yeah, I, I do have a new job, but I am still in touch with the Filipino community in basketball. Wow, that's great. Thank you, JR. Let me just take that from okay, you. Okay, go ahead. Um, <laughs> for me, I am still doing the same thing I am doing. I'm, well, I'm making a lot of videos on my, you know, Instagram, Kuya PJ, what up? I'm trying to do some Kuya. comedic sketches <laughs> and stuff like that. But I'm still with, you know, Pinoy Crossover, and you'll know what they're changing it to later. But I'm there going to be behind the scenes, splicing up some podcasts for them, and also maybe interviewing some people that we can't reach in studio. So mm -hmm. I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to see these faces again, and the new G. Ooh, Ingrid. Ingrid actually came on the show, and then she's on the other side now, oh, which yeah. is great. Great. Very so thank good. you for having JR and I again. <laughs> well, it's great to have you guys like be reunited and everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I want us to kind of do a, a season recap for us, like. How was the season for you guys? Like, what was your favorite part of the NBA season and just the show in general? Because we were in this since, like, you know, since we started mm -hmm. this whole, I mean, we started with Pinot Crossover, we had here and then, but we started everything and then we had mm -hmm. all these memories that we had, like, tell us, like, you know, the season and then just our show in general. Mm -hmm. what, it, what has it been like? Um, I yeah. think there's a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. I think one that stands out during the NBA season, besides the Toronto Raptors winning the NBA championship, mm -hmm. I think watching Derrick Rose uh, make a comeback in Minnesota and drop in, I think, 50 points. Yeah. And, then, was, and, then, and, then, and then you started crying and I started crying <laughs> at home by myself. Like, by I mean, like, it's it an ultimate like comeback story for him that so, so, so many seasons have gone past since he's been an like, MVP with the Chicago Bulls and now he's gone to this point of making a comeback. You know, he's like, I don't know, he's, he's old, but mm. I mean, he's still playing ball, playing ball like, uh, at a high level. For the show, I think it's been a long season, a long, great season five, five seasons of, of Pinor Crossover. I think one episode that stood out was uh, bringing on Dean Labine and hearing his story about, mm. I mean, being banned from his home country, the Philippines, mm. and how, his story with uh, being a, uh, somewhat a for like being categorized as a foreigner, uh, playing basketball over there, and all the other like good and bad stories playing overseas, and it's like it was a great season, and a great episode that we uh, got to share with you guys. Nobody even knew what was. So everybody thought he killed somebody or he stole <laughs> somebody. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. That's what he told us about. Like his friends thought he killed somebody. That's his oh teammates gosh. back home couldn't contact him <laughs> yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why. He he couldn't oh come my out. Gosh. He even like I like the story when he told us that he went in with his password and then he just tried and all of a sudden they told him, "Oh, you can't come in." And he had to take another flight <laughs> yeah. to get out. No way. Yeah, that's an interesting story. Yeah. Yeah, he had to go to jail and everything too. Yeah. And I think behind, and we didn't get the conversation where he was telling us his experience in jail and yeah. someone in jail actually knew him. I think yeah. as well. So I think that was a funny experience. And too. everybody's like, "What are you here for?" And like, "Oh, like I'm trying to smuggle things." Yeah. And then they asked us like, "What are you here for?" I'm like. Oh, I'm blacklisted. It's like, but well, you're Filipino. <laughs> and yeah. all the guys there were like either from like Nigeria, Somalia, and he's like the only Filipino that's like not allowed to come back in like the country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's a legend in the yeah. Filipino community mm -hmm. too. Yeah. That was a great he's, a, he's a legend in our eyes too. Yeah. <laughs> For me, I think the NBA moment that really stood out was obviously we're gonna stick with the Raptors. You know, the trade. For example, for me, I'm, I'm a Spurs guy, but. I didn't know Kawhi was that good, you know? Seeing him, not even in the playoffs, but just seeing him play in the regular season, seeing the way he handled himself, the way he, his moves are and everything, I didn't know he was that kind of player. I'm like, okay, DeMar's gone, Kawhi's here, but I didn't know he'd be that good of a player, that composed. And for our, I guess, our show, I just wanna say that this season was the best season in terms of foreshadowing. 100%. Foreshadowing. Yeah. And when, what I mean by that is that, first of all, we had heavy hitters on the show. Jeff Landicho, we just posted something about him saying, I wish I wish I could be there filming a champagne shower but in the championship. Yeah. Bro, it just happened. Guess what happened? It, yeah. just, it, just, it just happened. Insane, yeah. So I can't wait to get him back here and you guys get to talk to him about how it feels to be in that moment. Yeah. The other people as well, we had CJ Nofuente who actually 
began playing a professional career. A female basketball player, a legend, a Filipino-Canadian basketball player who had records in Humber and now is playing professionally. We have Camille Claren, who we got on the show, mm -hmm. who's now playing Team Philippines. Yeah. So we have such heavy hitters that we had this season, yeah. and I can't wait to get more stories like that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just up upwards from now, right? And yeah. again, Philippine Heritage Night, when we covered, now, now that we're champions, I can't... What, what's, no, what's the experience going to be at Philippine Heritage Night? Philippine Heritage Night at the Raptors, Raptors yeah. downtown. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I don't know anything about the name of the Oh, man. The parade of titas, bro. This is where they, 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 we may have to like, feed what, Kawhi the Torones now? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, they they from Toronto, yeah. First of all, he has to resign, but that's, a, yeah. that's another thing. So mm -hmm. feed him unlimited Toron. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, Mark, I was about to ask you. Oh, ladies first? I mean, it's been great just coming into the show even though I came late into the game but I really had fun with like you know you know JR you I didn't get a chance with PJ yet but like when I came back from the Philippines and everything you guys mm -hmm. asked me to come back on the show it was great that like you guys want me to be as a co-host so that was really fun for me mm -hmm. um, probably from what I from my interviews that we've gone through like France France still yeah. appeared on the show, even yeah. though he's not here. The most appearance, yeah. Damn. Most appearance, even like not with us, but even on CTV, Sportsnet, TSN, yeah. Good You'll Morning see. America, yeah. God knows who, uh, where else. But like, you know, so France true. just makes that appearance everywhere. So, and he shout lost his him. job because of that. Wait, he yeah. didn't lose his job. He quit his job to support the Raptors. Yeah. I'm just going to set that straight. Yeah. Now. Set that Are we allowed to say that? Yeah, yeah he's, oh. like, he's, proud, he's, proud, <laughs> he's, he's proudly not at his job. He's like, guys, I'm not, I'm not working. Oh, yeah. He's like, I'm here for the Someone hire him, please. <laughs> yeah, please. He's looking for a job. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, I thought actually. he found one. Oh, 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 We'll bring oh, him back on the hey, show then. Bring <laughs> him back <laughs> <for> <laughs> <him>. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Mark, I don't know. How would you end it My favorite part of the season has just been the fact that you had, I mean, Giannis has just been, you know, the race for MVP was exciting for me. And uh, I mean, I, I was a big fan of the Golden State, so it was just kind of nice to see it kind of fumble, but not in a way that people would have thought it would be, which was to lose with all their best players. So they lost because of injuries, so it was kind of hard to see. But at the same time, they, they were kind of challenged too, so we kind of saw how it kind of unfolded as a, as a fan of Curry to kind of see that happen and to, to be beaten by a team that you rooted for. It, it was hard to watch, but at the same time, it was just a nice kind of ending to their story. Now that their dynasty is kind of starting to start over again. And in terms of um, just our show in general, it's just been really fun just because of the fact that we had people that came into the show and we had a variety of guests that came in. My favorite's probably going to be like Zach, just because, mm -hmm. I mean, we met Zach when we were like, what, season three or season, even season four when we brought him in the show and yeah. he, we just thought he was really good. And then we, you know, this season we you just got you know viral oh, from yeah. just one video. You met Curry. Yeah, he was even able, oh, able yeah, to meet met Curry. Curry. He even like DM'd him too. Yeah, he got his reaction to he that. That was up. adorable. He blew up on like yeah. Instagram, and everybody just kind of followed him. And he was such a humble kid. So mm -hmm. I mean, we just contacted his mom. His mom just said like, yeah, like we'll come in. And then like, we had him in a show three or four times. Mm -hmm. And he just was so willing to come in. And then that's just like kind of fun to see how how a kid like this who got such you know viral video and such fame was so humble and down to earth, so that's kind of nice to watch. And also the fact that uh, I'd always, you know, the opportunity to just go to game six and just w witness that mm -hmm. and be able to be with Filipino TV and just cover that whole kind of environment and the whole, even to meet one of the starters with Jay's Key, mm -hmm. it's like, it was kind of just a random thing where we just walked in and then he was just there. I was like, oh my God, like, hey, like, I want a picture and then can I interview you? And he was so chill about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then, like, I think Jeff, one of the camera guys, I was standing beside her. I think it was Kayla Marie from CB24. I was like, you should interview her. She's Filipino. I was like, I, I don't know. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So that was kind of a fun experience. And then she yeah. was so down. And then she already followed us already on Instagram, mm -hmm. so I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also, oh, like, um, yeah. And you mentioned me, Ted, too, Seti Tong. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know him until I finished interviewing Ke um, Kayla. And then he just went up and approached me and talked to me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that he was, like, that big, too. So then we, and we interviewed him and get to know him, too. So he's down to come into our show and to also into, so that was just like, and I guess like the season recap was kind of the highlight of it. Mm -hmm. 